This is News 8 Now. Good evening. A group of eight students are tackling what's being called by some professors as one of the most ambitious projects ever undertaken at RIT. It's an underwater device that's designed to help record history. News 8's Joylyn Whitfield is here to show us how it works. A splash into the pool. There we go. To make sure it works, all timers are up to start the count. And the six months of hard work by seven engineering seniors and one grad student is put to the test. Trying to get some data on dive time and uh, scent time and how fast it goes forward, as well as just some general debug. It's a creation they built from the ground up called the Remote Control Underwater Explorer. This on top here, what you see is uh, foam, that's high pressure foam, which helps us uh, stay neutrally buoyant at, at uh, 400 feet of water. This is the camera so we can see where we're going. Its purpose to explore Lake Ontario and the remains of its shipwrecks. Unattached and above water, a joystick and computer program maneuvers the device. Yeah. Today their testing ground was the RIT pool, only 14 feet deep. Nothing compared to the deep waters of Lake Ontario where this device will go. We haven't been able to test it at depth. This is rated for 400 feet. You know, being the middle of winter, we, we haven't been able to take it out to the lake and test it. The team organizer has already discovered five shipwrecks that he hopes will become the next exploration projects for the device. The ships we found are uh, from the 1800s. They're uh, intact and up right on the bottom. The underwater explorer goes deeper than most trained divers can travel. It's part of the reason Scoville sought out to create it, to discover history that a single human couldn't discover alone. So it extends our time of that we can look at things down there as well as takes away some of the danger. So far the work is paying off, but there's more testing to be done before it's ready for Ontario's deep secrets. So there's still, still some more uh, bugs to work out of the system, but we're very close. The team plans to test the underwater explorer in the open waters of Lake Ontario just as soon as the weather breaks in late spring, early summer. Until then, they say they've got plenty to keep them working on dry land to get the explorer up to full speed. Joylyn Whitfield, News 8 Now.